Hi, I'm Dave Campton. I'm a photographer from Newmarket, but I'm here at the Aurora Public Library's Colleen Abbott Gallery. I'm here because I've got a show on of my images and my poetry. And uh, it's a new show for me, it's specifically for this. All the prints that are in the show were done specifically uh, for this show. Uh, this has never been shown anywhere before, especially not in this combination and not with the poetry. I've, I've always been very kind of shy about my poetry, so this is a new thing for me. Okay, the, uh, the exhibit is called First Lines of Haiku. The reason for that is the titles of many of the pieces uh, either are the first lines of haiku that I've written or they're just first lines and I've never completed the haiku. Or in the case of this image, uh, Even Stones Dissolve, uh, it's part of a longer poem that I wrote about the, uh, the rocks and the water and the ice around Georgian Bay. Um, and that longer poem finishes with uh, th uh, three lines that are a haiku. And Even Stones Dissolve is the first line of that little haiku that's embedded in a, in a larger poem. So again, asking people maybe to respond to that. You've probably got experiences of being up north in Georgian Bay, you've had your own feelings about that, and I'd, I'd like to know. A lot of my photographic process is still very traditional in that I shoot full frame and I do very little manipulation in the computer now, just as before, I did very little manipulation in the darkroom. So I'm still very traditional. You can see I still often do black and white, uh, where it's color. Uh, it's kind of a new thing. Digital has allowed me to, to get into. One of my early influences was Minor White, and Minor White did a lot of combining uh, writing, especially poetry, with his images. But his images were also, kind of tra I would say, transcendent in that very much saw uh, universal things in, in what might be seen as fairly ordinary scenes. And I think that's been a common thread through my practice going back to the 70s as well. Uh, so that here we've got a couple of leaves that are just lying on a rock, but just by chance the sunset, the light of the sunlight set coming in and the two leaves together sort of cupping that sunlight and they, they're just so luminous from the inside. Um, and, and here we have snow just falling through trees. Um, but again, it, it's sort of a transcendent Canadian moment in a way with the, uh, the water freezing up and the snow falling down. And, and uh, it's just a beautiful scene. Another one that uh, sort of finds the extraordinary in the ordinary is this small piece of granite this, is, this picture is actually much larger than the actual scene was, but there was a little bit of water in this triangular hole in the rock, and it was reflecting the sky. And the title came to me right away, Sky Held Like a Gift. So that's, that's one, it's, it's five syllables, it could be the start of a haiku. I've never finished it, maybe you'd like to. And what I'm hoping people will do when they come here, take their smartphone with QR code reader, just snap that QR code, follow the link, and when it gets there, read what I've written and write a response. Okay, that's what I'm hoping happens. There are also uh, cards here on a table at the library itself, and you can handwrite and leave them in the bucket, and uh, hope to hear from you.